After watching this video, you will be able to understand what differentiation actually is, why do we need it and will know how most of the differentiation formulas are derived. And in the second part of this video, you will learn most of the basic differentiation formulas and their rules and will learn how to apply them and till the end of that, you will be able to solve most of the basic differentiation problems. So let's begin. Hello Geniuses, recently I got requests on making videos on integration and differentiation in nutshell math series, so here it is. Now what is differentiation? Differentiation is the branch of mathematics that deals with how one thing that we call a variable changes with respect to some other thing that we call another variable. So for example in our real world, everything we see is changing with respect to time. So differentiation with respect to time will tell us how fast that something is changing with respect to time or how slow that something is changing with respect to time. Now to understand it, let us take a simple relatable example. Look at this graph. In this graph, this axis that we normally call the x axis represents day one, day two, day three and so on, which is time. And this perpendicular axis that we normally call the y axis represents the number of subscribers of a random YouTube channel. Okay. Now let us say on day one, the channel gets a hundred subscribers. Okay. On day two, it gets to 200 subscribers and so on. That means if we connect these dots, it will create a straight line. So right now we are looking at a straight line graph. Now I have a question for you. Look at this graph and think carefully what information that you can extract from this graph will tell me how fast the subscribers of that channel are increasing. Now it is really simple. It is the orientation of this line. Like if this line is more parallel to the X axis, the subscribers are increasing slowly and if it's more parallel to the y axis, the subscribers are increasing faster, right? So this entity is called the slope of that line. So the slope will tell us how fast something is changing with respect to something else. So now let us learn how to find slope of this line. It is really simple. We will take two points, name them x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now slope is simply y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Now if you don't understand from where this formula came, look at this example, let us put the values in here. So y2 is 200 minus y1 is 100 upon x2 is day 2 minus day 1. So the answer is 200 minus 100 which is 100 by 1 which is 100. Now 100 is the slope of this line. What is this telling us? It is telling us the channel is getting 100 subscribers per day. So this is the information that we get from this y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. We get the slope, the change. But when reality hits us, for example the real world graphs are not like these simple straight lines. They are continuous and changing with every moment of time. For example, their slope can't be defined like this that we are doing. So for example, a simple mathematical function like sin x has a graph like this. Now tell me where would you take two points in here and find y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That is you can't do it in here, right? Because the slope is changing at every single point. So now what we need is a way to find a slope at a one single point. Now how do we do it? Now what you can do is pause this video right now and think for yourself how can you do this? You might invent differentiation yourself. So what we were doing is this, we were taking two points and finding y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what we can do in here is that we can take these two points really close to each other. That is the distance between them becomes negligible. That is very close to zero. That is x2 minus x1 is very, very small. Okay. So now we will just modify this formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 a little bit to get the fundamental theorem of differentiation. Now see x2 minus x1 is that separation of these two points. Make it very small. Let us call it h. Okay. Now see 
y1 was the value of our variable at x1 right so let us say the point at which we are taking these two points come very close is x okay so y1 will be value of our variable at x we can call it f of x that means the function value at x okay so y1 is f of x now see y2 is simply the value of our function at x2 right so it is value of our function at x plus that small separation which is h okay so our formula now changes from y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h now these two formulas are exactly same just the difference is that the separation now is not x2 minus x1 it is x and x plus h that means h is so small that x and x plus h are very close to each other okay now we have said that h is very small but in our formula we are not saying it anywhere like by seeing this formula no one can say that h is really small it can be big so that it is equal to x2 minus x1 right so we write it like this limit h approaches to zero f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h this is saying h is so small that it is approaching to zero but it is not zero now this you see is the fundamental theorem of differentiation but you are seeing right now is the derivative of f that is our function that you can call y2 it is dy by dx you can also write it as f dash x or d of fx by dx and also there are many ways to write differentiation so differentiation of a function with respect to x is defined as limit h approaches to zero f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h now using this formula let us find the derivative of x square now first let us see the graph of x square which is like this it is a parabola right now let us find d by dx of x square okay it is really simple see limit h approaches to zero x plus h whole square minus x square divided by h so now let's open it a plus b whole square so x square plus h square plus 2hx minus x square divided by h so x square and x square gets cancelled we have h square plus 2hx divided by h and this solves to h plus 2x now put the limit which is h approaches to zero that is h is very very small so we can put it zero in here so h is equal to zero and we are left with 2x so the differentiation of x square is 2x now the general formula is if there is a differentiation of x raised to the power n it is basically n x raised to the power n minus 1 we will talk about it more in the next video so if n in here is 2 so it is 2 x 2 minus 1 which is 2 x so see we are right in here so from this fundamental theorem of differentiation we derive most of the differentiation formulas in the next differentiation for beginners video i won't derive all the formulas from this fundamental formulas because it is really complex we need to use binomial theorem and a lot of things to derive even this nx raised to power n minus 1 formula 2 but i will state the formulas right away and we'll learn how to apply them and we'll know the most basic rules so that you can right away start solving differentiation problems so i hope Hope this video helped you i hope you have understood what differentiation is and got the foundation of learning what differentiation is so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything